Hey everyone, it's your girl Trina here with another review. Please, if you like the content and you wanna see more of it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, I'm trying to build this fan base out. Let's get it popping. So, today I'm gonna review Real Housewives of New Jersey, season 11, episode three. Girl, it's getting more crazy and crazier. So the episode was up with the girls at Lake George and Marge is on the phone with Joe. And guess what? He said more construction on the house. Oh my God, I'm gonna need this construction. I'm gonna need like a countdown clock or something because he been doing this construction like forever and ever. Marge tells Joe that she wished Jackie was here and she wished Teresa would get over this whole situation. Anyway, they all up at the table eating breakfast and stuff. I was like, damn, I want some. And um, Melissa, yes for that crispy bacon. Thank you. That's a woman after my heart. She had that bacon nice and crispy. Anyway, the topic, of course, turned to Jackie and Teresa again. And Teresa says Jackie should just drop it and get over it. Melissa shares she feels bad for Jackie in her confessional, but she doesn't want to spend the whole trip talking about this, which they basically are doing. And she says Teresa's wrong for spreading the rumor in the first place. Bloop. Next, we see the ladies getting ready to go out and Jen with her church dress, girl, that was a chop. Black Dolores gave Teresa some fruit in her mouth. I was like, okay, uh -huh, for the lesbian moment, girl. Next, we see the girls on a bus headed to their venue and discussing the upcoming husband's get together. And Marge is wondering if her Joe will overdrink himself. The girls get to take get to the lake and it was beautiful. I was like, that's lovely. I'm so COVID deprived. I just wanna be somewhere. Teresa gets a phone call from some chick called Michelle, who's her real estate agent, aka stir the pot. I think it's time, so I'm happy to see Teresa closing a chapter on that house, I want to add. And I remember, if y'all remember, there was some controversy. Comment down in the comments. You remember that controversy with her buying that house, because people was like she was being extravagant, and da-da-da-da-da. And then look what happens. So, yeah, she needs to let that house go and let that juju go and get in a new home. So, good idea, Trey. Melissa shares Antonia has a boyfriend now and Teresa shares she wants none of her girls to have a boyfriend. Good luck with that. Marge shares she had sex at 15 and Melissa says 18. And then we get a montage of all the other ladies who refuse to tell us when they had sex. Hmm. Womp womp. Melissa shares sometimes Joe gets jealous with her when she goes out. And Jen shares her and Bill don't have that issue in her confessional though. And that maybe Melissa has trust issues in her marriage because her and Bill don't have trust issues. Bloop. Next, the ladies are in a boozy boat for more shenanigans. I was like, boozy boat? So then we find out that production got me. They got over on all of us, but we should have known better because we know Melissa Gorga ain't going to do nothing stupid like film and have another man give her a number and be on a boat with her sister-in-law and be texting a man i should have known my intuition wasn't really being smart on that so y'all got me when i told y'all last week I, oh we can wait till we see this mess so they were playing a prank so dolores aka black dolores comes up with this bright idea for um teresa to call joe not to be confused with juicy joe to call him and say that Melissa's been texting the owner of the restaurant all day to get back at him for what uh, Melissa had told a story earlier that Joe had, um, he used to go out with Teresa and he had Teresa try to say like they weren't at a strip club when they were. So this was like revenge from like 20 years ago. I'm like, really? You, you got nothing better else to, to do? But okay, it was kind of silly, but whatever. Um, anywho, so they call him and he's feeding all into the damn lie. And this was wild on so many levels because the crazy part is if anybody who's gonna tell him this information, it will be Teresa. So it's like, you couldn't find a perfect person to tell him this information because he's gonna believe that Teresa's gonna wanna spill some dirt like this on Melissa. I was just like, you can't make this shit up. Anyway, they tell him it was a joke and all is well and they laugh it off. Next, we see the ladies on the bus and they all knock out on the bus and all the ladies want a nap. Except Teresa, she wants more drinks. Who's this Teresa? Cause like three years ago when she was doing her namaste and her yoga, she wasn't drinking. Now the lady's taking shots, 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 shots. Next we see drunk Melissa pulling Marge boobs out in the house and it's a boob show. The ladies toast another drink. Next, the ladies are lounging down after their day shenanigans and Melissa's doing damage control with Joe with the prank. Jen is talking with Dolores in her room and Jen shares she thinks her and Melissa had a breakthrough. 
Melissa tells Joe he should invite Evan over to his men's get together and Joe says Evan hasn't responded if he's coming out. Jen tells Jackie that Michelle, the realtor, told her, she's spilling now tea to Dolores, that Michelle at Evan's party told her that Joe owes her husband $10,000. I'm like, how much more tea was spilled at this party? First, you had Teresa going around telling everybody that Evan, the birthday boy, has been basically sleeping around on his wife. And now you have freaking the realtor there who was brought by Teresa spreading more dirt. I just feel like, Teresa, your hands are getting a little dirty at this point. Because why would you spread a rumor at this party for Jackie's husband? And then the person that came with you, your realtor, I don't know if she's a friend, but your realtor also stirred the pot in another corner. Seems kind of calculated to me. That's all I'm going to say, but we'll see how it plays out. So Jen tells in her confessional that Joe has a history of taking credit, honey, from money and from people. Whew, so Jen is asking Black Dolores if she should tell Melissa. And Dolores says you should tell her, but not tonight. Good advice. Next, we are at Joe's, not to be confused with Juicy, and he, we're at the Joe's guy gathering. The man cave looked very good, Joe. I was really like, yes, for the decor. I see the walls and the bar, very nice. So it's Joe B, B Beningo, uh, Marge's husband, Frankie Sr., Black Dolores' ex-husband, Bill, Jen's husband, all show up, but no Evan. The guys go into the back room, and that wine collection was nice okay and the men playing cards at the card table i don't know if they were playing polka flush something chat all i know is i only know how to play spades and uno black people games i mean i did learn polka once but then i forgot anyway i don't know any games with chips i think i learned polka once though so joe shares that he got punked by the girls earlier and oh my god joe b with the t Marge's husband, he shares he heard the same rumors that Teresa spread about Evan, that he has a girlfriend. Frankie Sr. asked to take a vote on it, because you know if you don't take a vote, vote or die. And he asked if Evan was faithful, and they all agree he is. The vote consensus was Evan is good to go. He's not the philandering kind. We'll see. Next, we're back at Lake George and the ladies are getting ready for dinner. They order sushi, just like what the guys had ordered at the men's gathering. Melissa and Marge go talk outside and Marge decides to call Jackie. Jackie says she misses them, but shares again that Evan is still disgusted by the rumors. And I'm like, damn girl, you keep saying that. Why everything Evan, Evan, Evan? Why he's so, I get why he's disgusted, but it's just like you expect at some point, if something is not true, especially from a man, he gonna get over it. Usually when a man don't get over something like that, there might be a little bit of a ring of truth to it. So I'm getting a little concerned. Um, where was I at? So she decides that she needs Teresa to clear his name. Jackie shares that is what Evan needs as well. And Melissa tells Jackie that she should apologize to Teresa about Gia, the Gia analogy. And Jackie is like, nah, da, da, nah, da, nah, da, nah, nah, not happening. Next, Marge hits, hits it on the head. And Marge, you was just like the old sage that always hits everything on the head. I keep telling you, you're like the observer. I think it's because you don't drink. Marge hits on the head and says, Evan is the one who's keeping this going. And I totally agree. She keeps saying Evan is upset. The ladies go inside to eat and they share that they called Jackie. Teresa says if he is not doing anything, he shouldn't be upset. She says Jackie has no backbone and might, th not think, it, might think it's true. Again, I think we all kind of agree with Teresa's point, but it's like you don't want to start at this mess. So you can't take that point of view, Teresa. You got to be sympathetic to the fact that you stirred this pot at this man's birthday party. Teresa curses the whole table out. It was hilarious. And walks away from the dinner with her glass of wine. She made sure she had that glass of wine. Next, Melissa goes to her room to talk to her and calm her down. Then Dolores comes into the room. And then the other ladies are trying to talk some sense of Teresa. Good luck. You might have a better chance losing 40 pounds first. Anywho, the ladies get more wine and put on their sweatshirts. Marge gives in and they go sit outside by the fire to drink wine and have s'mores. Yes, my kind of activity. The ladies end by running inside after they think they hear noises from the bush. That is the end of the episode. And then what's upcoming we're seeing is more fallout from this Jen slash uh, whatever her name is, the real estate lady rumor. 
and more fallout between Evan and Jackie and this whole Teresa thing. So I'm, I'm really excited so far for where the season is going. Please let me know what you think is gonna happen. Do you think that Evan's really cheating on Jackie? And do you think that this whole thing with the realtor and Joe is gonna blow up with Teresa? Are they gonna make that connection? I think they will, especially Marge, cause she's a smart cookie. So if you like this content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Do all three. I appreciate you. Have a blessed day, everyone. Till next time, keep watching. Bye.